the heavens in his hands Who made the stars by the word of his hands Hello, viewers and participants in this wonderful conference in Denmark. I am very happy to share my little experience with you as an entrepreneur. My name is Ali Ibrahim, founder and director of Youth for Change Educational Center in Kumase, Ghana. It was established in 2009 basically to help children, irrespective of their socio-economic backgrounds. The school since inception started with seven kids, but currently we could boast of more than 300 kids in a new location at a Sufuer new site. We've gone through quite a number of challenges, which include financing, because it is not profit-driven. It has been very difficult to really go to a bank for a loan. So funding of the project has mostly been myself, friends, and also the support of international community, which include Rungstead Gymnasium, which has donated uh, computers, tables, and other items to the school. Other supporters has also been Virum School, also in Denmark. Besides, we've also received quite a number of volunteers who have helped in diverse ways, including assisting in putting up building infrastructure, provision of books, and other items. Ghana, generally, if you ask of an entrepreneur, usually they are people who establishes institutions and facilities for money or for profits. But as you have heard of it already, about Youth for Change Educational Center, it was established not because of money, but to help kids to have quality education. Myself, I will give you a short story about my life. My parents are all illiterate. I am the only one out of a family of 10 to have access to university education. With that, it has helped me to travel all around the world. So I could see, for one to even break up poverty cycle, one needs education. That is why this establishment is there to help kids have access to quality education. I will therefore appeal to you. In Ghana, currently, there are quite a number of opportunities for the youth to get themselves engaged in. Unemployment is really high, but the challenges, as I said earlier on, are quite a lot, which include access to funding. Banks are not willing to give money to, let's say, young people like myself to start new businesses. Two could be issue of land, if the project should involve land. Land issues in Ghana are quite expensive, and sometimes to multiple ownership in terms of family, chiefs, kings, that also makes it quite difficult for one to acquire land easily to establish projects of their wish, either to make profit or to make a change in society. Third could also be expertise. People who engage themselves in projects, do they really have the requisite knowledge in terms of managing those projects? That is also there. But to mention some of the prospects in Ghana, Ghana has a whole lot of gold all around the country. But people are not really engaging in it profitably as expected. So as we speak, we go on with what we call Galamse or illegal mining. And the youth are really into it all around. Another prospect that one could go in in Ghana could be like educational setup. There are still a number of communities all around the country without school facilities or educational institutions that is also there. Other than that, as I said earlier on, as a developing country, there abounds a whole lot of opportunities for people all around. But mine, as a social entrepreneur, has been to help bring about change, to help bring about education, to keep bring about hope to the youth and young people of Ghana.
So that has basically been the focus of Youth for Change Education Center. And I wish to thank you all for having time to listen to this short presentation from myself here in Ghana, Kumasi to be precise, and will continue to appeal to all of you if you perchance want to volunteer, assist in any way possible, Youth for Change Educational Center has opened its arms and it will welcome you to come here as you could work as a volunteer, you could also teach, you could do whatever you want. Or if you have money and you also want to donate or help build the school, as the following pictures will show, so how we started it from my garden with seven kids and right now we have over 700 children. We are still confronted with a number of challenges which include classroom work, to have a good library, good computer lab, to have a creative room. As you have in your schools in Denmark, we are not having it that way. But that is a wish and the aspiration, to have a really first class standard school for all kids irrespective of their social standing. So that at the end of the day, with quality education, they can face and become good citizens of this world and also make impact for Mother Earth. I thank you all for having time to listen to me. But the following pictures will show a bit about the infrastructure where Youth for Change is located now. Thank you all. All right, as I said earlier on, at my back, as you could see, this is the infrastructure we are in at the school right now. This is the permanent building that we are putting up. And I will say thank you to Winston Gymnasium as well as Virum School, as these two institutions through Inga Mire Sabo and her class periodically have contributed financially at the end of every year to support this building initiative of us here in Ghana. But as I said, we still have a temporary structure. At the base is just a block, but the top part is wooden. And if it rains, more times we have a big problem here. So that is how our infrastructure currently look like. But also, at the background, you could see a small playground we have here. And we try to use our local material. These are used ties, and they were done by volunteers yeah, from all around the world. So kids play here. Our kindergarten one classroom. As you can see, the kids sitting around their round tables with their chairs. Hello, class. Yes. Hello. Hi. Good. Thank you all and bye bye.